A powerful 6.0 magnitude earthquake struck northeast Afghanistan on August 31. Over 800 people were killed and at least 2,000 injured. The epicenter was located just 27 kilometers northeast of Jalalabad. But this isn't an isolated incident. Afghanistan has a long history of devastating earthquakes. So what's causing these tremors? I am Indrajit Kaur. I'll simplify the reasons of earthquakes in Afghanistan. An earthquake is simply the earth shaking, but it's caused by massive underground forces. Two blocks of the earth suddenly slip past one another along a fault line. The point where the quake starts underground is called hypocenter, and the point directly above it on the surface is the epicenter. The sudden slip releases a huge amount of energy which travels through the ground as seismic waves shaking everything in their path. <music> Afghanistan sits in one of the most seismically active zones on Earth. It lies near the collision zone between Indian and Euro-Asian tectonic plates. As India moves northward at about 45 mm per year, it crashes into Eurasia and creates massive geological stress. This zone includes the Himalayas and Hindu Kush mountains which are regularly rocked by earthquakes due to this ongoing collision. This is not the first instance. In 2023, Herat province was hit by three major earthquakes, nearly 1,300 people were killed. In 2022, a 5.9 magnitude quake in southeast Afghanistan also killed over 1,300 people. According to experts, there have been 12 earthquakes stronger than magnitude 7 in Hindu Kush region since 1900. According to seismologist Brian Bapti from the British Geological Survey, with India moving towards Eurasia at around 45 mm each year, this collision zone is one of the most seismically active regions of the Earth. This collision zone accounts for around 15% of the seismic energy released globally every year. That's what this region is so dangerous. So while earthquakes can't be prevented, understanding why they happen, especially in high-risk zones like Afghanistan, can help us prepare better and save lives. For more news and updates, stay tuned to FPJ.